Well, definitely, Sai is under the spotlight once again for his um, for his popularity of his uh, music videos. That's correct. And uh, as the media continues to roll out its best of list for 2013, I think we can continue to see Sai in the news, uh, making headlines for all the honors for gentlemen and, of course, Gangnam Style. And that's probably going to happen until he rolls out with his next uh, new single, which. I think it's rumored that it's going to happen next, early next year. Oh, really? Okay, <laughs> so we'll be looking forward to that. But uh, there is another um, music realm that's under a festive mood. That's right. Now, as the year counts down, we draw closer and cl closer to the Grammy Awards, which are taking place next January. But before that, we roll out the list of nominees, who was nominated the most for what, and who has the most honors. The 56th Annual Grammy Awards are just around the corner at the end of next month. And the excitement for the music industry's top honors continue to build with the release of the list of nominees over the weekend. Rapper Jay-Z leads the field with nine nominations, but he was snubbed in the three major categories of record, song, and album of the year. In fact, he and other music industry superstars were edged out of the running by newcomers like Lord, Kendrick Lamar, and Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Still, Jay-Z did manage to sneak into the group as a producer of Kendrick Lamar's album Good Kid Mad City Record, which is up for Album of the Year. Speaking of which, Lamar faces some very stiff competition this year in that category. He's facing off against Sarah Bareilles, Daft Punk, Taylor Swift, and Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Now, one of the artists with the second most nominations this year is another music vet, and he made his long-awaited return to music this year with the album 2020 Experience. Justin Timberlake received seven nominations, but like Jay-Z, also failed to garner any nominations in the top three categories. Kendrick Lamar, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, and Pharrell Williams also received seven nominations apiece, making it a three-way tie for the honor of being the second most nominated artist. Newcomers Macklemore and Ryan Lewis are nominated in the Best New Artist category, along with rapper Kendrick Lamar, country music singer Casey Musgraves, and British artist Ed Sheeran and James Blake. But the rookie sensation from New Zealand, Lord, was left out of the Best New Artist competition. Instead, she's nominated for two awards that are considered far more prestigious, Record and Song of the Year. The 56th Annual Grammy Awards will be held on January 26th. You know, so definitely star-studded, no question about that. But of course, like every year, <laughs> uh, the nominations do not come free of controversies. That's right. Now, every year with the Grammy nominees or any of the annual uh, top honors show, we see snubs as well as honors going to the right people. But for this year, Justin Timberlake, Justin Timberlake excuse me, uh, 2020 Experience album, which was long awaited and was one of the best-selling albums of the year, he wasn't up for or any of the top three major categories, no song, record, or album of the year nominations. So it's kind of a head scratcher with the snubs this year. Right, and we will be eagerly waiting for the results, final results to come out early next year, and I'm sure you will keep us updated on that. I definitely will. All right, thank you for today, Teho, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right.